after opening the PCube 3 configurator on the very top bar, select the PCube you have, the PCube 3, 3E, 3V, or PCube 3R. Today, we're just going to focus on the PCube 3. Also on the top, we have a global default settings. Clicking this button once reverts the entire configuration back to default, a useful place if you've got lost. Next to each box, there's a small question mark that brings up a little bubble that reminds you what each box is for. Let's get started. PCube ID. Um, you might want to call this um, what the PCube is monitoring, such as blower 102. The location, it could be a factory or a physical location. We're in Alameda, California. Note, this could be a horsepower of the van, a drawing reference, whatever you may see. Or you can just leave it blank like that. Recordings, when the PCube captures an event or creates a trend, it can create for you automatically GIF files, which are really useful. The PCube can also generate a PCube diffractor file. This takes a lot of processing time. If you're not using PQ diff, I suggest you leave it unchecked. PQ diff timestamp to UTC or your local time. Time zone. We're currently in Pacific time, but you can click your local time zone from the list. Primary language. For me, it's English American but you can choose many of the other languages or have a secondary language to, which would be on each one of your GIF files. Output formatting for the CSVs. Do you want your data backing up to the onboard SD card? Yes or no? What the PCube actually does, it will fill the SD card and just before the SD card gets full, it removes the oldest three months of data. So the data on the card is cyclical, always with the latest data. The PCube has a small internal fan. This is the temperature it comes on at, 45 degrees C. Suggest you leave it as default. If you purchase the UPS, one of the modules listed below, with your PCube, select it from the list. The backup time is how long the PQ will remain on after the power has been lost. This is useful if you have a short power loss at your facility. In this case, if the power is lost and comes back within 15 minutes, the PQ will capture the beginning and the end of the event. If you do not have a UPS or if the, SAG, if the power outage lasts longer than 15 minutes, you'll only receive the beginning of the SAG. Power module auxiliary output. On the PM2 power supply, there is additional power outputs which can be switched. This is how you switch them, on or off. So when the PQ powers up, it will turn these outputs on after the PQ has started, powering auxiliary devices such as sensors or modems. We're going to leave it as well though. 